จะทรมที่บริกSaid in the last frame, okay, he had four chances, but it's true he couldn't buy a positional shot, and this yellow is tricky. But right in the heart of the pocket, wonderful pot. Well, he showed a lot of character right there with that pot. Three, far from easy. Four. Perfect angle. Pot the black. He's having a look to see if the red directly above the black pots into the right-hand corner pocket. If it does, then he doesn't need to play the little cannon. If it doesn't, he can move it out of the way. He's moved it out of the way. He's always on this other red. Eleven. Twelve. Nineteen. Now, what does he do here? Does he play on the loose red? I think he's going to. <coughs> nice cough, but was able to get up and line the shot up again. Right in the heart of the pocket. And that's something you learn with experience. If something happens, to put you off. Get up. Twenty-seven. Forty-one points needed from this position, so he needs six more reds to get to snookers required. At the moment, I can see maybe three. After that one, that's in the open. So he's going to have to play a cannon. You would feel before he gets the winning line. Short of pace there. Wanted to be straight on this red. Fifty-five. You see the angle. He's okay. He can go up for blue, but would have loved to just stay on the black. Fifty-six. Quite cleverly taking up the loose reds, building his lead. He's taken these very nicely indeed. Great open and red. His long putting has been superb in this final. 41. Have a look at this opener. Use the other red purposely. 
get back up towards the bulk area and a wonderful yellow to follow just came around just had a quick look at the red to the right of the bunch I think that may pot as well into this left hand corner pocket So he's got this black, Fox he's got the loose red, but I think the red on the right of the bunch underneath the pink does pot into this left corner pocket as well. <coughs> and he's got a nice angle on this red now. If he wants to pot Fox this, he can maybe just nudge one or two from the pack. There's the little nudge, and they're all out in the open now. Excellent shot. Good response here, John. Yes, he's taken these really well. I'm just nudging out the reds that's going to be needed. And he's used this to perfection. 54. Fifty-four points the lead. Eighty-three remaining. Two reds, two blacks. Get him to snook as required. Fifty-five. It's been a wonderful break, isn't it? I mean, under a bit of pressure, particularly after losing that last frame. Yeah, I think the impressive shot, the opening red, as you say, but the yellow to yeah. the middle. No holding back there. Because sometimes when you get in this situation with a big lead, you think, well, try and protect it. As I say, 62. no holding back. Wonderful shot. 63. And this black to go 70 points in front with just 67 remaining. Seventy-one. Oh, he's got about this break very well indeed. Played a lovely red into the corner pocket, just nudged off the reds underneath the pink. But four more reds into play. Seventy-six. And set him up nicely for this break. Possibility of another century in this final. Incredible standard from both players. It has to be said. Eighty-four. Eighty-five. He's already had ten centuries in this championship. He's had eleven, so this will, if he makes this one, this will be... Ninety-three. Luca just does not get any better. 101. And the ninth century of this final, the most ever in a crucible final. He's not bothered about the, the pink. He wants to get on with the next frame. What's your reply?